Ukrainian military upgrades secret World War II weapon with modern drone bomb technology. As Forbes writes, citing Russian military blogger UAV developer, the new Ukrainian secret weapon is a drone bomb detonator with a laser sensor for measuring the distance to the target, which can detonate the bomb at any desired distance from the target. UAV developer describes it as a simple device without technological sophistication, but experience dating back to World War II shows how effective this type of weapon can be. Ukrainians are talented at creating new fuses for old weapons. The most famous example is the Johnny or Jonic fuse installed on the Soviet PTM-3 anti-tank mines. The original fuse is a simple push-button switch that only goes off when a tank drives over it. The Johnny fuse has a magnetometer and an accelerometer. The magnetometer activates the mine when a large metal object is close, so the mine is triggered when the tank's treads pass over it without making contact. The accelerometer means that any attempt to move the mine will trigger it. Analyst Roy has documented several other new fuses associated with drone mines with time delays and magnetic or other sensors. Drones are planting these weapons on roads far from the front. The Ukrainian armed forces have systematically mined Russian logistics routes to a depth of up to 15 kilometers using various anti-vehicle mines. To do this at night using heavy drones, Roy said. The laser fuse is a step up in sophistication. While it can be used for off-road mining, it is a type that involves direct strikes on targets, both in the air and on the ground, a variation on the classic proximity fuse the publication writes. According to the US Naval Systems Command, the proximity fuse ranks with radar and the atomic bomb as one of the great secret weapons of World War II. It was so secret that its name couldn't even be spoken. Cheap, rugged, solid-state lasers mean you can now get a laser gauge for under $20 and Ukrainian engineers have used the same technology. The fuse also has a backup contact detonator in case the laser system fails. While the new Ukrainian device may not meet Pentagon standards for reliability, ruggedness and safety, it does provide a valuable new capability. These fuses will make anti-personal strikes by drone bombs and FPVs significantly more lethal. They will also likely be used on new interceptor drones to significantly increase the odds of a kill, the publication concluded. The Russian advance on Pokrovsk does not only threaten vital supply routes, the city itself and all its civilians. It also creates an extremely dangerous situation for Ukrainian forces south of Pokrovsk. As Forbes analyst David Axe writes, the Russians approaching Pokrovsk outflanked Ukrainian forces holding a line between the village of Memrik and the Vovcha River, which runs north to south, three miles east of Memrik. The result is an open salient jutting eastward into the Russian line a salient that, with a few decisive Russian maneuvers, could become a trap for hundreds of Ukrainian troops. The analyst writes, Inside this salient are units of the 59th Motorized Infantry Brigade, the 68th Jaeger Brigade, the 117th Territorial Defense Brigade, and the 15th National Guard Brigade. At the same time, the analyst notes that the integrity and stability of these Ukrainian forces depends on the 25th Airborne Brigade, which is defending the village of Ukrainsk in the northern direction of this section. The Ukrainian retreat may already have begun, the analyst writes, and this is a smart move on the part of the Ukrainian command. Withdrawal from this salient would give the Russians about 30 square miles, but would preserve the integrity of the Ukrainian battalions at a critical moment, the analyst notes. In addition, some optimistic assessments of the fighting around Pokrovsk indicate a slowdown in the Russian advance, which could give the Ukrainians time and space to strengthen their defenses and logistics and save the city. There are not enough troops. There are so few that the loss of parts of four brigades could be catastrophic for the Ukrainians. At the same time, a successful evacuation of these almost encircled troops could strengthen the straightened and shortened Ukrainian line. The Forbes analyst believes.
He emphasizes that this will probably be the most optimistic outcome for the Ukrainians defending Pokrovsk since, according to experts, stabilization in this section of the front line is possible by autumn after the Russian army has exhausted its offensive potential. Recently, The Telegraph reported that Russian troops were advancing in the direction of Pokrovsk in Donetsk Oblast. It was assumed that Ukraine could lose Pokrovsk as early as September, since the actions of the occupiers threatened to encircle large sections of the Ukrainian front. Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Russian invader troops have not advanced in the Pokrovsk direction, while a fairly large number of Russian troops have been transferred from the occupied part of southern Ukraine, the Zaporizhia region and the Kherson region, to the Kursk region of the Russian Federation.